Aker's so close, but ultimately uh, not quite enough to get the win. How are you feeling? Yeah, bitterly disappointed um, from this result. I really thought we had it in the bag. Um, you know, I got to come in the guys that came in like Ray towards the back end, played brilliantly. Um, but yeah, very disappointed uh, with, with tonight's result. The margin is obviously so far and just two runs in it and it's a bit early to assess, but where do you think it was quite won and lost? Look, you can easily dissect the whole game. You know, a lot happens um, in the space of three hours. So um, I felt like we weren't quite at our best in the field tonight. We let through quite a few balls and went for four and we, we could have maybe stopped a few more twos. You know, in, in a close game like it was tonight, um, that counts for a lot. The loss of obviously Rishi was maybe one tad important in the innings. We had to rebuild um, after that. We think we hit 51 or four overs before he'd gone. Do you feel that was a turning point in the game? Yeah, I think Rishi looked back and think that he could have played a different shot, maybe hit on the ground and, and run two. Um, you know, but I suppose that, that happens in T20 cricket. He tried to take positive options and work out for him tonight. And you yourself, 59 off 38 balls. I know it wasn't quite in a winning cause, but confidence for yourself to take forward into the games as they come in quite thick and fast? Yeah, 100%. Um, I think confidence is key in this format. You know, once you get going, you've got to hold on to it for as long as you can. Um, like you say, we've got a game tomorrow night and, and on Sunday. So we'll take the positives from tonight and, and move forward. As you've alluded to there, we're probably not at our sharpest in the field, but spins sort of you know, quite work for us again in the middle as it did last year for us. I think it was three wickets in the space of, of eight balls. Is that the plan sort of going forward? Would it be our strong suit again? Yeah, that's always been our plan is to work quite a bit of spin. Um, I think this wicket really suited us tonight. There was definitely enough hold for the spinners. Um, Parky bowled extremely well and so did Ray. So um, a lot of positives from tonight. With which we give credit to, to our guys. Again, give credit to Wayne Madsen on their side, a, a constant thorn on our side. Yeah, of course, Mads is, is a class player. He's done it for so many years, and you know, and he showed how to bat um, on this field tonight. You know, hit the gaps and, and ran hard. And when the ball's really full, he only hit it for six, so I was hit it on the ground for, for fours and twos. So you've got to come in him as well. And again, it's not the start we would have wanted. Obviously, four defeats on the bounce now. Does that necessitate a bit of a rethink uh, on our side selection wise for you, Nico, and the coaches ahead of Northampton during this week? Yeah, I suppose we'll have a chat now um, and reassess and, and plan for tomorrow. And just finally, obviously, that means that we, we don't have too much time to dwell on it. Is that the good thing about T20 cricket that we can get going straight away and, and right those wrongs? That is a good thing. You can't dwell too much on the past in this format. You know, like, like I say, you've got a game tomorrow, so we've got to be up for it. Um, rest well tonight and come back strong tomorrow.